But what's up guys? This is Bubba TV24. We are in the hunt event doing arm wrestling simulator. I'm gonna show you guys some of the stuff here. So in getting going, when you get into the game, you're gonna to come to this portal here for the Easter event, and we are going to need to complete some quests for this character right here. They want me to find keys, and in order to do that, we need to find three shiny golden eggs. So they will have these arrows above them so there's one there there's one behind the portal so don't go into the portal and then one over here behind this merchant that is not there yet we need to gain 175 easter strength so that's just right here at this punching bag so we're gonna hit this until we get 175 extra strength and we are here so this is number two down defeat the Easter boss three times. So you need at least 280. So this is the boss right here. You need 280 strength at the very least. So we're going to go ahead and fight him three times and hopefully beat them relatively quickly. Okay. So we just need to destroy like coins and stuff like that here in the middle in order to unlock this. So just go and destroy some of the coins. It's a lot easier. They're low level. There we go. Where bunnies roam, find the next clue atop the home cave. So there is an arrow here that we need to... Oh, it's over here. So here is the top right here. So we're going to go up here. It says, click me. In the market fair behind is bear. You may find a key there. So here we go. In the market fair, it is over here. So we're going to go behind the guy where the other egg was. And boom, we have the key. Enter the hut and claim your reward. So we need to go inside. Boom, there we go, and we have it. We have finished the hunt reward. Let's go into one that I am fairly familiar with. This is War Tycoon. This is one that I have played before. All right, so in order for us to get the hunt badge in War Tycoon, we need to find 10 hidden blue crates around the city. However, in order for us to get out of here, we need to remove spawn protection by getting to the second floor. So we need to go in here and actually buy a bunch of stuff to do that it's only if you can get to this point it's only five hundred dollars but you will have to buy some of this stuff to get there now luckily i have two grand already because i have played this before so i've got this open boom level two is open now if we wanted to do this faster we should probably buy some vehicles or something in order to get out there all right so i've bought a small garage here we are going to buy the imzer merzer buggy and use that right here spawn that there we go let's go ahead and get in it now we're going to drive around the city and see if we can't find some blue crates here now it did say we had to go to the city and as i can see over this way there's a giant city over here so I imagine, and I hope, that the crates are actually in here. I've not done this, so we're going to find out. Also, ooh, a little bit squirrely. And unfortunately, since this is a PvP sort of game, you will be contesting other players. There's a blue crate up here on this um, building with the crate. So we're going to go ahead and get this one. That's one. Okay, on the other side of the city by this bridge is another one just sitting out here. All right, inside of this big building right here with glass all around it is a, another crate. On the second floor is another crate, so it's number four. So same building that had the crate on the first floor, go in the elevator and take it up. You will find a crate up there as well. Right beside glass building, big skyscraper, is a big sort of military style building. I see a crate up here, so let's go inside here and look around to see if there are any more uh there may be enemies as well i might have to fight a lot this is a relatively big building all right second floor we're gonna come up here on this balcony right here is another one outside of the building having to deal with other players here sorry guys i'm trying to do this in like a way that makes sense but it's hard with other players if you come outside of the building on the same side that we had this skyscraper thing uh, there's a crate here, so that's number six. So if you want to cheese it a little bit, you can jump up the heli. Here we go. And we'll go around here and come in here. Here is number seven. Place is hot. So uh, if you're able to do a private server, I don't know if there's a free one or not. I highly suggest doing that instead of what I'm doing. Outside of the back on the side with the heli 
is number eight right here in the street. So we've pretty much found a crate outside, almost outside on every single side of the building, it seems. So on the side here with this bridge, you can see uh, like a purple, a fuchsia, like a, these colors here. There is a building here, a little L-shaped building. On the roof of this building is a crate. I'm now also geared up in case somebody decides to attack me. Uh, I went ahead and bought it because each crate gives you a lot of money. So that is number nine. I just got to find the last one for y'all. Big building right here to my right has a helicopter pad on the roof. And that is where this is. We need to call the elevator. So we take the elevator, it comes right up here to the top. And here is crate number 10. And that is it. We finished the badge for the hunt event. And I got an awesome kill. So overall, this one is not incredibly easy to do. There's a lot of setup, and then you have to deal with the people inside of the zone fighting you. So if you're able to do this quickly, I highly recommend using a fast vehicle because there is setup and moving as quickly as possible. All right, so we're here in gunfight arena for the hunt event. Now, this event requires you to play on the crossroads map get kills and when you get kills enemies will drop certain items they'll drop things like cheeseburgers and pizza and stuff like that there are a certain number of items that you need to collect which is i think a 10 of each of them so there are maybe 50 60 items you need to unlock and in order to do that it is random but let me show you if i can find any a couple of examples of the items and you're just gonna have to do this the only thing i can suggest because this game is tough we're gonna sit right here and we're gonna use the uh, grenade launcher here we're gonna wait for these guys unless we've spawn trapped them and they spawn somewhere else we're gonna sit here we're gonna grab a sword there we go and we're gonna spawn kill everybody as they come out is this sportsman like no we're not here to be sportsmen we're here to finish the thing here we go, I need one more ice cream cone. And look at that, just like that, we got another thing. Grab the stuff, boom, completed the uh, the springs. Now having done this little trick here, just sitting here in spawn and spawn camping them, in this game I have finished probably two or three of them. So let's take a look and see where I'm at with it. Okay, I have finished literally three and I need one ice cream cone, one sword. And I'm going to go just demolish them and do it again. Because that is, that is the strat, guys. I'm telling you right now. So we need a sword and we need an ice cream cone. So now that I know what I need, I can be a lot more selective over the things that I am going to go pick up. I need this sword. Okay, we got our ice cream. Boom, we did it. We finished it. The hunt is complete. We also unlocked some sort of new primary for the thing. So we finished the hunt here. And honestly, I just sat in that corner right there and spawn camped them as they walked out and took all the stuff that they dropped. That is the easiest way of doing it. If you run out of ammo, just go out, die, go back up there and do it again and again and again and again and again. And you will get it so easy. It might take a few games, but you will get it. It's very easy if you just do that and just sit there and camp the whole time. So Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like on it. Feel free to subscribe and hit that notification bell. I will see you guys next time. I've been BubbaTV24, and I am shooting off some grenades and signing out.